All right, everybody, Corvette C8 here, 1,243 miles in, right? There's uh, about, I don't know, there's about six, five or six renters on this already. And I can tell you right now that this car is five times the car the Super was as far as rental cars. This is, I mean, look at this. Most of my cars are here. This is the worst time I've ever experienced in almost 20 years of renting cars to rent cars. Most of the Lambo, I mean, all these great cars are here, but this one keeps going out. So that says something about this car. You'll remember I got the Supra, perfect time of year, summer, hot, everything's going out, everything's, and nobody wanted it. And it was sold out weekends and nobody wanted it. This car is going out when the market is absolutely terrible. And this is the only thing going out. So, or one of the only things going out. But for good reason. I mean, the, the main difference between the Supra and this is this car makes you feel special. The Supra, it's like, yeah, how, do, how do I explain it? It's like, you know when somebody takes you for a ride in their car and you're like, oh, oh yeah, it's, it's quick, but it doesn't do anything for you? That's the Supra. This is just like, it looks cool. It's got the curb appeal. It's, it's actually sort of exotic right now, especially with the production stopped. There's a bunch of them out there, but there's going to be much fewer of them out there than there would have been. So it's not like you see five every block, but I mean, there's just something about this car that makes you feel good. And you, you feel a little bit, you, 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 it gets you right here. You know, it, it gets you excited. You know, it's like, all right, all right, let's do this thing. And, and this car does that. Whereas the, the plate isn't holding up so well at, uh, at uh, whatever, but the, we got a couple of weeks. Hopefully, you know what? I never thought about this. I don't know whether or not I'll be able to get a physical plate. If these DMVs and everything are closed, I may run into an issue where I have business on this car and it can't go out. Cause we're about like two and a half weeks away from that plate expiring. And if these DMVs are closed or whatever government agencies are closed and I can't get that actual metal plate, I'm gonna be in trouble. Unless we're just going to run it. I mean, they, the government will probably have, I'm sure I'm not the only one dealing with this problem. The government will probably have some sort of way around it. But the fact that this car is exotic doesn't exempt it from still being sold to, to weenies. And the good thing about weenies is that they sort of find everything that's wrong with a car. But the bad thing about weenies is that they turn anything into an issue. Now, the only issues I've seen so far, it's, uh, and, and part of it's like the, the YouTuber thing. Everybody's looking for something to be like, I'm the first one to discover a paint bubble in my paint. Uh, and, and I get these as like news articles on my Google News feed. There was one where uh, they forgot to put the screws in the, um, the front. I, I wouldn't know what do you want to call these air deflectors. And they have three screws, one, two, three coming from the back securing that and the one car that the guy was doing a clear bra on didn't have the screws in either of those it appears there are no screws in any one of these three this one's easier to see i suppose yeah well, I, like it is what it is get the three screws put them in the dealer will do it that's where it's a warranty. You still have to remember it's a first year car, right? It's not, nothing is going to be perfect. And then, you know, it's just, there's stuff on Ferraris that I'm sure it's like, oh yeah, we didn't see that. Forgot about that. Giuseppe, we'll give you something. Um, and then the other thing is that people had an issue with, and this is, let's see here, with water. When you wash the car, you get some water pooling in here. But if you look, these are drains, right? The water, this is a high point. When the water goes in, and especially like when you wash the car, you need these for ventilation. So like th this helps keep the engine cool so your car doesn't overheat. You have that on all these cars. Like you have, you think this Ferrari, when you wash it, doesn't get water all over the engine bay? Absolutely not. I'm not gonna use my Corvette because it's an aftermarket hood, 
but it's not a problem that, that is solely exclusive to this. It's a problem that you have on essentially cool cars with cool design features. And you're going to get places where water will collect or, or like, oh, wow, there's like soap and water collecting in there. You drive and it, it blows away or it dries off. It's not really a big deal. So people make a big deal about stuff like that. But I can tell you every single customer that's rented this loved it. Every single one of them. So whereas the Supra didn't rent once in two weeks, this one was essentially nonstop since I got it. And the customers, one of them actually went out and bought one and this kid is ordering one. It's going to be a while before that one comes in. But the guy paid a lot. He paid over a hundred grand for one of these because he wanted one. And it, it's good reason. I mean, they're, they're cool cars. Now, don't get me wrong. As I said, it's not the end, end all of cars. It's, it's a great car, but it's not the end all of cars, but it's totally worth driving. And it's a totally fun driving experience. So that's something that you have to realize that that's why this is going to make a great rental car. That's why I ordered a couple of them because at the price point for the guy that wants a good fun weekend car or something like that, this will do it. And you get a car like this. I rent this car for about a thousand bucks a weekend where the Ferraris and new ones or the Lamborghinis, $2,000 a day. So you get a lot of value out of these cars. And even the Z06 over there, Z06 convertible. I mean, once I get, and now, I mean, I think they're even pushing back the production on the other Z06s. Uh, once they get the other cars in, um, or once they get the production started on the Z06, I'll probably get rid of this. I don't even know if I'm going to get rid of this once my convertible comes in. That's going to be towards the end of the year because that thing still is, is an awesome car. And this will, will be definitely a car that people want. But for people that call me up, like I want a blank convertible, this isn't going to cut it. This, this is not a Corvette convertible. It's a Corvette Targa. You don't push a button and the top goes down. You have to take the top and stow it away and do stuff that most people just want. Give me a button. Let me push it. It's a Corvette. It's fast. It's loud. They're happy. So uh, all in all, this car, happy with the purchase. I've turned down a lot of offers on this car. Uh, this car is going to stay in the fleet for, I would say, I mean, depends how, how many other ones I have come in. If I, I get 5,000 miles on this one by the time another one comes in, maybe I'll sell this one and, and get the other one and reset the odometer. So when the market does normalize and the other people start getting their cars and everything like that, uh, if I have a car like this with 15,000 miles on it, you're going to have a depreciation kick that you wouldn't have if I sold it with, say, 5,000 miles on it. It's much easier to get rid of at that point in time. But again, exciting. Uh, still a fan of this car. I'm thinking the wing, without the wing makes it look slightly more exotic. Uh, but I guess each his own, right? Like, I think it's cool. I think it, this car fits in with these cars very well. And that's saying something. I, I, I hate to keep kicking praise at this car, but I'm, don't take my word for it. Take my customer's word for it. Like the Supra, again, quick. Like it's a quick car. Maybe I'll, I'll get the Supra and see which one performs better. But I'll tell you what, I don't care if the Supra outperforms this, which I don't think it does. I'll tell you what, this is much more fun and fun, good looking, popular. That's good. Thumbs up again. Check it out. If you haven't checked them out, uh, go to the configurator online. You can spec your own car, see what it costs for 60, 70, even 80 grand. You're gonna have a tough time finding a better car for the money. Rob Ferretti. Thanks for watching. So you guys are familiar with my other company, Adventure Drives, right? Well, this year we've got two trips coming up. One which is starting in Seattle and ending in Jackson Hole in July. That's going up through the Canadian Rockies, coming down through Banff, Yellowstone, Glacier National Park, and Grand Teton National Park. It's going to be phenomenal. Also, we're going to be going to Scotland in October. We're going to be doing Scotch distilleries, playing golf at St. Andrews if you want to do that, walking around, seeing lakes, waterfalls, driving the North Coast. It's going to be an amazing trip. Prices start as low as $2,500 per person for the shorter trip in Scotland, about double that for the longer trip in July. If you're interested in going, check out the link in the description.